Everybody, my name is Ray's Chaos. You've made it back to my channel, and it is Wednesday. It is New Comic Book Day, and what does Ray's have for you today? He's got another comic book cover, another Funko comic book cover. I love these things. They're starting to give me a little bit of stress because you know it was bad enough when uh, I found out that the uh, Star Wars comic covers weren't going to be. Uh, as collectible as their, their other ones. Uh, and then I was watching a video on uh, Wanko a while back. And uh, yeah, he kind of pointed out the fact that uh, you really have to remove the cellophane out of these things. Um, otherwise, moisture gets built up, can't get out, and it can warp the back of the... the uh, the cover and uh yeah that's posing a problem at this point i have i have not unleashed all of them yet i haven't opened them up to you know see how bad the damage is so far but we're gonna put this guy away and we're gonna have a look at something real quick so what i did look at was this, which I just got. Uh, so this is pretty new. It's the Miles Morales, the Ultimate Fallout, number four cover, um, with the Spider-Man No More. And uh, just looking at it, I can tell just by glancing at it, and you might be able to when I do the close-up, that uh, the cover's already kind of bowing. This is a brand new. Like, this is one of the newest ones you can get and uh it's already bowing and uh i can get the uh cellophane off of that um but that's not going to correct the damage that's already been done to it and uh that really kind of leads me to wonder like you know if you missed one and you're going back to get one you haven't you didn't you know you didn't get on the first round uh when you get it obviously the retail stores are not going to take the cellophane off so uh it's gonna be something you're gonna have to keep your eye out when you're uh if you're collecting these beasts and uh yeah kind of leading to uh what else do we have to check out with these guys so uh but enough about that uh, we're just going to talk about this real quick. Uh, this is the ultimate fallout, uh, number four, sp part of the Spider-Man No More storyline. Um, this is basically the offshoot of the death of Spider-Man, which happened in the ultimate, uh, ultimate Marvel universe, uh, which is very cool. And, uh, I actually enjoyed that series and, uh, I think that one uh, and the Ultimate Fantastic Four. I really enjoyed those two books. I liked the other two, um, the Ultimates and the uh, Ultimate X-Men. Um, but the further you went down the Ultimate X-Men hole, the weirder it got. Uh, the Ultimates were kind of the same, but uh, yeah, there was only three. <laughs> Ultimates 1, 2, and 3. Um, as far as trade paperbacks go, uh, when you got to the third one, it was kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't know that I want to do this anymore. But with the Ultimate X-Men, they just kept going and they'd give you something to be like, what? And by the time I'd stopped, I had gotten to the point where I was like, oh God, I don't even give a damn anymore. <laughs> so I stopped. <laughs> Um, I actually stopped just before, uh, I basically, I got all the trades for, uh, for the Ultimate Spider-Man, 
um, I ended up giving those uh, to somebody who was uh, well deserving of them. And uh, yeah, so that went to a good home, but uh, it was right before, uh, like basically I stopped and everything right before Ultimate Fallout. They just did the ultimatum and that pretty much turned me off of them completely. So I missed the first appearance of Miles Morales, who is right here, this in Ultimate Fallout, Fallout number four. That is uh, Miles Morales' origin, or his first appearance. Um, and uh, yeah, he basically survived the Ultimate Universe and came to Earth 616, which is uh, Marvel's prime Earth. Uh, prime universe, central universe, whatever their main universe, their main continuity. Um, so now he's a member. He's a he's he's on board there. Um, so the big difference with him uh, with this uh, is uh, they did a pretty good representation of the character. Uh, the uh, cover has his face obscured, which uh, I think that was so. At that point, you didn't know that uh, he wasn't Peter Parker. Um, that you didn't know who was going to replace him. Um, and much to a lot of people's surprise, once they got there, it was a African American, half half African American, half Puerto Rican uh, young man who. Uh, uh, basically, the story there is Norman Osborn decided he was going to. Uh, try and replicate the accident that had given Peter Parker his powers. And uh, that spider was genetically enhanced and made its way into Miles's book bag and uh, then bit him when he was at his uncle's. <laughs> his, his uncle, by the way, is Prowler. Um, and a lot of that you can actually see in the uh, Spider-Man uh into the Spider-Verse, I believe, the, the animated movie, uh, which I think is the best Marvel movie uh, that they have made so far, like, kind of hands down. Um, that thing was brilliant. It was it, it was gorgeous to look at. It was, there's good solid story, good solid lesson. Yeah, there's there's really nothing to complain about with, with that one. But, uh but this is Miles Morales' first appearance, and uh, it is relatively recent, also, obviously, if it's the Ultimate Universe. Um, and uh, I'm glad to see that he has had some staying power, and I do know that they're going to be bringing him into the MCU at some point. They've teased, him, teased it, um, but uh, they haven't done it yet. Um, but what I was going to say is uh, the costume that he's wearing in this uh, is the classic uh, Spider-Man costume. And uh, the uh, mask he's holding is just the basic uh, classic Spider-Man mask. In the actual story, once he decides to be Spider-Man, he doesn't really know how to get a hold of the costume. And uh, he basically buys a store-bought Halloween Spider-Man costume, and that's what he goes out in. And it's very clearly a store-bought Spider-Man uh, Halloween costume. So uh, the cover shows an image that didn't actually happen. He never actually wears the blue and red tights um, and goes on as Spider-Man. He pretty much, once he gets his Spider costume, it's it's the Miles Morales costume. So that's really cool that that's the representation they've got here. Um, really emphasizes that it's a first. This is a Target exclusive, even though I got it from the Funko shop, which makes me question even more about the freaking Boeing there. Um, but yeah, that's he's a very solid character. He's a very it's a very solid cover. Uh, it's one of the newer parts of comic lore that uh, I still appreciate. I just mentioned that uh, in uh, yesterday's video that King Shark was another character that had come out late in the game and uh, has really started to, you know, show some staying power. And uh, I do appreciate those because so many characters come and go. So many characters from the 90s are just not even referenced anymore. Um, 
And that's amazing because if you get it on comic book from that time, you'll see them as, oh, the newest hero you need to check out, like in the ads and everything. And uh, you're just like, oh, well, whatever happened to that guy? Um, yeah, no staying power. But Miles Morales has it, and we're happy to have him. So uh, that's that's my ultimate Fallout number four. And uh, if you like these comic book covers, this is part of a playlist, and uh, you can go ahead and check out more. Um, I've got I've, I've I've picked up everyone I've seen. I wouldn't say I've got them all, but uh, I'm working on it. Um, but, uh, I've picked up every one I've had an opportunity to, and, uh, I will keep getting them for as long as I can or until they just totally ruin it with this, this, uh, background thing. Um, yeah, that, that, that kind of irks me. I, I'm even have to ch check on the, the, uh, the doors thing, because that would probably fall into the same category. So, yeah, be wary if you're getting one of these big oversized uh, books with the, I know they've do, done movie posters, they've done VHS covers, um, they have they did the Seinfeld, they did the Kramer. Um, yeah, the hardest part is going to be getting the, the sticker, the Target exclusive sticker off of this thing and onto the, you know, just figure out how I'm going to make that stay there because, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to this this operation. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and let you go. And uh, click subscribe if you haven't already. Um, stick around because I've got a lot. Yeah, I'm going to keep bringing you these guys. I've still got the uh, competition um, between Advent calendars going on all the way up. And I do mean all the way up because uh, the, the cheese calendar is 24 and the Batman and Marvel are both 25. So I don't know how I'm going to decide on day 25 because I won't have any cheese to make up my mind with. Hmm. And no, I'm not going to make that an, an excuse to call it a draw. <laughs> so uh, go ahead, leave me a comment. Tell me, let me know what you think of these guys. And uh, never forget, the life is full of odd moments. You never know when you're going to be defined.